Hello, friends. Okay, so I'm gonna wait just a few minutes and then I will um, add my Sharpie link to the comments and we'll get started. But I hope everyone's having a beautiful day today. I'm gonna post my shopping link right here in the comments now. I'm gonna hold and pin that. And then um, top three dots up here, you can actually turn on live notifications. I'm actually gonna be right back. I'm live right now, babe. Okay, hello. Sorry. Watching while you work, nice. Multitasking at its finest. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna have um, someone on with me to be able to start messages with you guys. I know some people have a hard time knowing how to send a message here on Facebook, which is totally fine. So I'm going to have my team manager on with me, so she'll be able to start those conversations. And so if you guys need to be private messaged, if you need to be color matched, or if you need me to message you um, for help with makeup, hair, you name it, just in all caps, right, please message me. And then we'll, uh, we could do that. Oh, no, I'm praying for you, Lisa. Good morning. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's so like surreal that the bathroom's done. That was our last indoor project on the house and we're completely done with the remodel inside. We have like a, a closet that we're going to kind of remodel, but we're going to do that ourselves. It's super easy. And then that's like it. It's so crazy. I'm like still thinking because you know how they're like, you're never done remodeling, but we're really close. And the backyard's coming along. It's going good. Do you have a lot of freckles or scarring because I noticed your makeup always looks flawless. Thank you. Um, I would say yes. I think I have uh, quite a few freckles, um, especially during the summertime. And then I, I have like monthly scarring. <laughs> I get like the hormonal breakouts. I always have, probably always will. I usually get them just like around my jawline like this. Um, so yeah, I get the little bit of scarring. So honestly, it used to like bother me a lot. But um, now that um, I have really good coverage, now I'm like almost welcoming it because now you guys can see the good coverage. But I am going to tell, hold on one sec. Kirsten, I'm having them comment, please message me in all caps so you know like who to start a private message with. Okay. But feel and free to... for most of them or just saying hi? So you don't have to write back for those, just the questions. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Two more weeks. Yeah, always two weeks. <laughs> two more weeks, probably. It's always been two weeks for the pool remodel. If anyone's done a backyard remodel, you know. It's like two weeks. Always two weeks. But at this point, I'm just like happy with whatever. Like, whenever. <laughs> I, I use this tanner called uh, Glow Pro Tans. I can send you the link. Oh, thank you. Do you have to delete your personal account or something? I know you've had been... <laughs> so it's not been identity theft they're just like it's a pro my profiles are all public so any creeper can come on here and like take my picture and create their own profile so that's what that person was doing it's usually like people in Asia or India that do this I don't really know why I don't really get like what their end game is but they've always done it like they do it to everybody on social media if you have like a large following or get like high views they just take your picture and then they make a new profile and they try to like add your followers so I'm just gonna say it right here I will never do a giveaway that I do not announce because they were like giving they said that they were giving away money I would probably never do that, to be honest, um, unless I, like, announced it and, like, had your guys' opinions and, like, we do everything together. I'm not just going to, like, announce a giveaway like that. Um, and I'm also never going to create another account. So the accounts that I have set up right now, that's it forever unless they are compromised somehow and I will, again, be, like, loudly announcing that. So if you do get, like, a friend request from me, most likely deny them, but message me. But 
it's I'm not gonna create another account so just putting that out there some creep did take my picture and start another Facebook and they spelled my name wrong they spelled it with two A's R A Y A A so I'd never respell my name it's Raya Hope that's it <laughs> I know there are so many fake accounts out there right now, but just rest assured that my accounts are very secure. If we have conversations, they're extremely secure. I change my passwords very frequently. Um, we did have like a issue like a year, year and a half ago. And so now it's like my privacy with you guys, especially is like my highest priority. So just keep that in mind. But we'll go ahead and get started now. Um, hello guys, thanks for being here. So today we're gonna do full coverage. Yesterday, if you missed that tutorial, we did super light coverage. We basically did it all with our hands. Um, and that's like my favorite for just like throwing makeup on really fast. I did that live in 15 minutes. Like when I'm not live, I could do that look in like three minutes. So that's a really good tutorial if you're more of like a no makeup makeup girl. But if you love full coverage or if you have scarring or freckles or whatever you're trying to hide, this coverage right here is going to be amazing. It's especially amazing for dark circles. Um, so we'll just get started. So I'll stop yapping at you. Try to put that back up because I want to know who they were pretending to be and I'm not an actual friend of yours. Oh, I get it, Mandy. Well, thank you so much for trying to report them. I appreciate you. I do have like a girlfriend who works for Facebook and she did report it on their end so those accounts should be um going away soon so thank you guys for all your concern okay perfect if you guys like i said before if you guys need to be private messaged or if you need any help directly from me i have my um, team manager on with me and she'll be messaging you guys so um starting the messages now and then as soon as i get off i'm going to take over so let me know if you guys need any help all right, so right now I'm going to be taking my Liquid Touch Foundation, and this is in the shade Lace, and I'm applying it with a, um, a rounded brush. It's very similar to the It Cosmetics brush, which I can link for you guys. Just message me if you want the Liquid Foundation brush. Make sure you tell me it's the Liquid Foundation brush, or I automatically will send you the powder brush. Um, but I love this foundation, and you're going to see why. Look at this coverage, you guys. Look how quickly... And flawlessly that just made my skin is that not so good so flawless so lightweight oh it feels so good and it covers so nicely so flawlessly and I take this all the way up onto my eyelid take it up underneath and then always always blend down your neck like this and this is going to um, just make everything look super seamless Good afternoon. Hello from Myrtle Beach. Awesome. Um, I use the same one she uses and I love it. No smell at all. Yeah, the self tanner is really good. If you want the link to the self tanner, just comment that and I can send that to you. Which one is this? This is the Liquid Touch Foundation in the shade Lace. And then before I got on live, I know that some stuff is out of stock right now because of just COVID and shipping and all the crazy things going on in our world right now. Um, but I made sure that everything I'm using minus one thing is in stock. And then if it's not in stock, I have found a comparable or like another option for you. So I am definitely making sure that you guys can access and get everything I'm using. So besides this brush. <laughs> so message me and I give you a comparable brush to this one. It's pretty much the same brush that just this one is a little bit more dense. So I prefer this one but I have a dupe for this. So message me and I'll give you the link to that guy. But that's essentially what I do to begin with. I just kind of disperse that foundation all over and that was like three or four drops of the Liquid Touch foundation. Isn't that such good coverage? I love that it already hides all my scarring, my freckles, completely evened out my skin tone. And it doesn't feel heavy, doesn't look cakey, doesn't look like anything. Looks like my skin, which I love. And again, that was the shade Lace. My self tanner, I usually do it every other week, so it lasts about a week and a half. Um, I think, and the reason I think that it prolongs or it, it lasts a really long time is because um, I use the tan, tanning extender lotion that uh, Glow Pro also has, and I love that. It's just like lotion, it's like white like lotion too, and you put it on, and it doesn't like, you can't even tell that it's a tanning anything. Um, oops, just spilled. And yeah, I love that. And I use that like every night before bed. So I think that's why it helps to last longer too. Do I like the liquid or the stick better? Oh, that's so hard. I don't know. <laughs> um, I do know. 
it's so difficult because it just depends on like your skin type and like your preference for me i think i like the liquid the best i love how light it feels on my skin um but i have i don't have very large pores and i don't have a ton of fine lines so if you had large pores and fine lines and really love full coverage as well, I would probably recommend the stick. So I think it's a tie, honestly, for me, between the stick and the liquid for my favorite coverage options. Um, but it just depends on like what your skin type is. So if you need any help picking out your products, uh, comment, uh, please message me in the comments. So that way I can send you a message and all I need is a selfie facing a window. So once you receive a message from me, go ahead and send me that selfie facing a window. And then also make sure that you, um, tell me what your skin is like. Is it oily? Is it dried? Do you like full coverage, light coverage? I want to know all of that so I can give you a really accurate personalized recommendation. Love that you suggest other products. Yes, of course. Of course, of course. Uh, random question with self tanner how dark can you go with your current color would you be able to go up to taffeta and have to blend and match i have similar color when i self tan um yeah i can make it work especially with bronzer or with the product i'm going to use as bronzer you can always make that work laura i'm going to send you the link uh when will the unique i actually just asked my rep yesterday dora about that and she hasn't gotten back to me yet shawnee perfect i will get you both of those do you like, oh, I already answered that one. What ring light do you recommend? Lacey, message me and I give you the link. What's the stick one? So the stick are these guys, which I'm actually going to use right now. I'm going to go in first with the stick in the shade Scarlet, which is the lightest shade in the stick foundation. It's actually available now, and I really love this for using it as a concealer because of how great it covers. It gives you amazing coverage and it's not super duper thick like a concealer. Um, so we're going to take this and I'm just going to use my smaller blending bud now and I'm just going to blend this out onto my eyelid and then underneath and look at how beautiful this highlights my under eye. It's so good. Uh, perfect. Like Kelly over top. Thank you. Sent you a message. So waiting for Kelly. I'm going to respond today. I promise. I was having issues with my Wi-Fi last night, and I was having so much difficulty logging on. But I'm going to answer all of my messages today. So I will get back to you today. I'm so sorry for my delay. So foundation and concealer. That's what I personally like to do because, in my opinion, so I always think of it like this: when you are putting makeup on, the first thing that you do is you prime the wall, right? It's crime not to prime. So I always start off with my mattifying face primer. I put this all over my face. This is going to act as a. Um, it's going to blur your pores, blur your fine lines. It's going to really kind of set the mood for the makeup. It makes it look more full coverage. It's super super good. So then. You paint the wall, which will be your foundation, stick or, or liquid, whatever. Um, so that you paint the wall. And then after you paint the wall, you kind of see that there's little spots that need just a little extra love in, but you don't want to repaint the whole wall, right? That's a little excessive and it's going to make the wall darker. So it's going to make your face look a little more cakey if you're using all this coverage. So what you're going to use is the concealer or a product like concealer, which I love the stick foundation. This is the stick foundation in the shade Scarlet that we used for our under eye. And so this is what I love for just a little extra loving on any spots that you may need it. So primer, foundation, concealer is what I usually do. Yay. Oh my gosh. The matte primer is so good. All right. So for contour, I'm going to use the stick foundation in the shade Chenille. And this is one of my absolute favorite contours because it's so beautiful. Um, it's very easy to do. I know cream contour can be a little bit intimidating, but it doesn't need to be. So I'm going to take that just like this and kind of go right underneath my um, cheekbones and then dot it around my forehead like so. And then around my jawline a little bit and then around the sides of my nose, just like that. So those are the contoured areas. Okay. So that was the shade chenille in the cream con or I'm sorry, the cream, uh, the stick foundation, which is like a cream foundation, but you can use it as you see as um, contour, highlight, full coverage, you name it. How do you get all the makeup off? So um, Unique has shine cloths. They are called, they are under cleanser on my website and you can use those to remove it. So now I'm going to take my blending bud, but I'm going to use a fat end on here and I'm just going to bounce this just like so in that hollow and then around the jawline 
just like this and it's going to blend it out soften it up and it's going to give us that really nice warmth i'm going to take whatever's left over and kind of blend it down beneath and then see how i'm just kind of like bouncing i'm using a little bit firmer firmer of pressure than i normally would with a pro with a sponge or anything and see how i'm kind of going up like this kind of like a horseshoe a little bit just like that and i'm stopping two finger lengths away from my mouth and then same thing here, bounce, bounce, bounce. And this is just blending it out and making it look so bronzy. Oh my gosh, it's such a gorgeous and very subtle matte contour. So if you're looking for a really good, especially a lot of people love cream contours that you don't like powder, this is a really great one. And I'm avoiding the center of my forehead. So I'm just kind of following my hairline and I'm stopping where my eyebrows meet. So just that area. And then again, I'd take whatever's left over and kind of blend it out. Do you use one shade lighter for concealer? I use the lightest shade for concealer in my stick foundation, but then in my actual concealer, I use the shade Organza. But let me know if you need any recommendation. Amanda, yes, I think I messaged you about that already, but yes. Um, yes, the shine cloths are incredible, and they're going to be underneath... Um, the cleanser section and they're so good they have like vitamin e in them they're so healthy for your skin all right so now for this step here so i have naturally oily skin so i'm i want to make sure that i set my face really well so it stays in place all day long um but if you don't have oily skin you could very subtly set this with like a finishing powder or your setting spray or a pressed powder kind of like this um so I'm going to show you how you can do like both ways. So let me kind of clean up around here. All right. So now I'm going to take my loose powder foundation and this is in the shade crepe. So it comes with a little plate like this and open it up like that. So I'm going to take this and this is what I'm going to use to set my under eye. I'm going to take a dry beauty blender and I am going to spritz it with my setting spray very, very lightly. And then now I'm going to push it into the mesh plate, grab some of that product on there, and now this is what I'm gonna use to set my under eye. Now, my only like forewarning with this step is it can be a little bit heavy because it's a loose powder foundation and not a setting powder. Um, so I would actually prefer the setting powder by Unique, but obviously it's not in stock at the moment. So I wanted to give you guys another idea. But if you are setting your whatevers, and you're still having a difficult time having it move around or look really oily or transfer. I dropped that yesterday. Um, this is another option. So this was the, sh uh, the was the shade Crepe in the loose powder. And now I'm just going to use my fan brush because I don't want it to sit on there too, too long. And I just did this in my highlighted areas. Just like that. So center of the forehead, underneath the eyes, center of the face. And I want to make sure I really, really fan this away because I don't want a ton of that product on there. I also was going to do underneath my contour just a little bit. Okay, and that kind of cleans up the contour. Just like that. And that's so good already. It's so brightening. So that was the Loose Powder Foundation in the shade Crepe. Yes, perfect. Yes, send me a selfie facing window and I give you that color match. All right, so now for setting the rest of our face, now I'm going to take a pressed powder and this is in the shade Chenille. However, I just ordered the shade Twill, which should be here very soon. And I'm going to start using that one because it's in stock. So this will be like the substitution I was mentioning. Everything I'm using is in stock, except for this guy, you're going to want to switch to the shade Twill in the unique pressed powder. But I'm going to take my tapered blusher brush. I'm going to tap it in the product, swirl it in the mirror, tap some off. And now I'm going to use this product to set my contour so normally when i contour i will go over and contour and then blend it out however we already have a contour going on so i'm just going to use a very very light hand and a, a very loose or not a lot of product i mean and i'm just going to swirl this over that product and this is just simply going to set it it's not i mean it's enhancing it a little bit but not too much but we really just want to set the product i don't i want the stick foundation to stay in place all day long i'm just going to go down the sides of my nose just like that 
So now that area is set as well. So now that cream foundation is going to move there either. So very last step is I'm going to take my pressed powder and this in the shade Poplin. This is like my true shade. If you wear the shade Velour, Organza, Taffeta, maybe Isla even, you can use the shade Poplin. It's kind of the equivalent. And I'm going to take it on a big Kabuki brush. And now I'm going to just take this all over minus my contoured areas. And this is going to set that space. And it's really just going to mattify my whole makeup look. And it softens up that contoured area a little bit. So just like that. But I love doing this routine with the stick foundations because if you aren't in, really into powder, this is a really good like routine for you because we're not using a ton of powder. We're using far less powder than if I were to do um, my normal like powder contours and things like that. <laughs> I know, right? The contour stick, you guys, it's so... Con I keep calling it the contour stick because it makes sense. But the stick foundation in the shade Scarlet is how I got my eyes this bright. Isn't that amazing? And then the contour, I love how soft, not muddy, not heavy, but very chiseled the stick foundation and chenille makes your contour. I'm so good. How are you, Amber? Why did they take Hermosa away? Uh, I think they're reformulating a lot of the products. We're changing up our packaging. We're making everything look super good. Um, but the shade chenille, so good in the stick foundation for contour. All right, so now for blush to give us some color, we're gonna take my favorite blush. This is the shade Sisterly, and I'm gonna smile and tap this on the apple of my cheek, working up to the hairline, and this is going to give us that really pretty flush look back to our skin, so just like this. And this is one of my absolute favorite blushes, and it's back in stock. It almost acts like as a highlight as well as a blush. It really luminizes this cheekbone area, which is so flattering on. Good eyeliner that doesn't smudge. I love our liquid liner, which is in the shade Perfect. All right, so now for highlight, I'm going to take the Touch and Load Luminizer in the shade Pearly. Yes, Sisterly is still in stock. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going to take this guy right here, which is the shade Pearly. And although on the website it may look a little bit dark, on the skin it is so stunning. It gives you this really pretty, like, rosy finish. And I'm using a highlight brush from Sephora. It's called Pro Highlight 98. And I'm just going to do little circular motions on the highest parts of my cheekbone right above my blush. So essentially we're doing blush, I'm um, sorry, highlight blush contour is how you're going to think of it. So we're just going to swirl that on there. Look at how pretty that is. Cupid's bow. And then I did branch on tip of my nose. But it's the prettiest pinky highlighty color it's so good look at that and that's so gorgeous oh my goodness i love this highlight and it's still in stock you guys this is the touch of the mud luminizer in the shade pearly so good the blush was in the shade sisterly uh, i appreciate your information thank you thank you thank you um, okay, I think I got up. So, but if I missed your message, just comment it again. Or if you need a link for something, just comment it again. I have my team manager on here with me and she's giving you guys links. I thought it was something kind of new that we would try. So, um, let me know if you guys like that. Cause usually I'm like, message me, I'll get back to you. Um, so if you guys need any links, just ask for them right here and we can give that to you. All right. So my face is completely done. Gosh, it looks not to toot my own horn. Gosh, I'm going to look so good right now. It looks so good. So soft. Doesn't look heavy, cakey. It looks so dewy. I love this coverage, you guys. Stick foundations. If you have not yet grabbed a stick foundation, whether you use it for concealer, whether you use it for contour, all over coverage, you name it, so good. For cracked eyeshadow, oh man, I hate that. Amanda, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Um, Pinterest actually has some ideas on how to get your powders back together. I think it's something to do with alcohol, like rubbing alcohol, but I don't know. I don't know. Starting how you were commenting and doing a live video. I am so talented, Nicole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I have my team manager on with me and she's helping me today. Um, taffeta in the mineral powder. What would I be in the loose powder? Poplin, Erin. You'd be the shade Poplin. All right, so now for my eyebrows. Now I'm going to use this product right here. This is called the Brow Palette. 
and we're gonna do these colors so this is the brow palette in the shade brunette and this is you get two powders two highlights and then a pomade i love this product for very natural looking brows if you're not into the whole like stamped on brow look um so again this is called the brunette palette and i love that you could like a lighter color and a darker color so you really you're not stuck in a box if you're like oh i'm kind of in between colors the brow palettes are a perfect way to go this one's in stock as is the other color but if you were blonde brunette this will work so i'm going to take the darker color that matches my eyebrows the better the best but if you had lighter color you could use lighter hair color you could use the lighter color so you're going to need this brush this is called the brow obsession brush it's going to be under tools on my website you're going to take the angled side and you're going to tap it in very lightly into the pomade on both sides and then tap it into whatever color matches the best so for me it's this guy so I tap it on all sides and now as you saw I brushed through my eyebrows so I have no foundation in them the hair is going in the same direction I'm going to take this guy right here I'm going to take the um like the angled side and I'm going to follow my tear duct straight up and I'm going to very lightly press that right there now I'm going to turn my brush and I'm going to press it on the top press it on the bottom kind of making like a box and now I'm going to take whatever's left over and I'm going to go from the top all the way to the arch I'm going to drag my brush once I've done so I'm going to take whatever's left over drag it through the tail not over drawing that now I'm going to take whatever's left over down here and connect that now whatever's left over I'm just going to fill in that box and then drag throughout the brow just like so voila pretty much we're going to fine-tune it a little bit but that's essentially the idea but so easy and I love how subtle it is. Um, I end up looking like my arches. <laughs> Follow the natural shape that you have. Don't try to like draw over an arch. Try to stick with your natural shape. That's like really key. All right, so now that I'm going on to this side, which now you can kind of see that difference, I'm gonna clean them up a little bit more here in a second, but that's essentially like a done eyebrow and look at how much more it frames my face versus this side this side looks a little kind of just raggedy looks doesn't look like I have that much room for eyeshadow versus that side isn't that crazy it really does a lot to your face so pomade I saw that question um what should I do if I ran out of the wax but I have a ton I would spray it with your setting spray same same all right so now for the pomade I would make sure I'm not using a ton of this product the waxy part um, because then your eyebrows are gonna look a little bit like shiny which is not that great um, so we're just going to take it here connect it again and then take it to the arch take it back down so just like that so essentially just outlining and coloring in is what we're doing at the hardest time the eyebrows hardly real ones so you can see them drawing them <laughs> tina grab the esteem lash serum we have the esteem lash serum it's 24 dollars. i believe it's still in stock as well it's under eyelashes you can use it on your eyebrows and your lashes at nighttime i would highly recommend that to get your eyebrows to grow thicker okay so i'm just going to continue so good okay so now to clean it up a little bit i went a little too low than i prefer so now i'm going to grab the flat side of this and i'm going to take the highlight sections right here so these are highlighters um but i like to use the white one as like my little magic erase marker so now i'm going to take my little highlight and just give that some shape so if i did go too low too high whatever it simply just cleans it up so voila so again definitely snag the brow palette and the brow obsession brush if you haven't it's so good if you have no brow hair, I do still recommend the brow palette because you're gonna fly through the pencil, honestly, but I would grab the Esteem Lash Serum. It's only, again, uh, $24, and it lasts for quite a long time, and I would use that on your brows at nighttime, and th it'll help them to grow. Yes, perfect. What's the pink stuff? That's highlight, highlight, which you can use on your brow bone. I usually will only use the white one, to help clean up my brows. The hardest time I read that one. What should I do if I run out? I read that one. If you're the color crepe and loose powder, what color powder would you use over it? Let me think. 
if you're crepe all over, I'd probably do camlet on top and the pressed powder. That's what I would probably do. Diane. But again, just message me if you guys need any help or just comment. Please message me in the comments and I can start a message with you. <laughs> I wish, Paula. But that's why I'm here. That's why I'm online every, almost every day for you guys to do makeup with me and that's why I always recommend to grab these products everything's available right here rayahopebeauty.com is where you can buy all of the makeup everything has a love it guarantee so if you don't love anything for any reason you can just return it with for your money back no problem um and yeah so super deep super duper easy all right so now for today's eye look I decided to do this palette um which is good for every eye color blue eyes brown eyes hazel eyes gray eyes, you name it, whatever eye color you have, this palette is going to make your eyes pop and it's so easy to use. You don't have to be like some crazy professional to make this look good. So I'm going to take this palette right here, which the colors are laid back, alive, gingerly, and gullible, and all of which are in stock right now. So you can get two of these in the, um, in the kudos. So go to K-U-D-O-S on the website, rayahopebeauty.com, and you get to pick any eyeshadow brush, any two eyeshadows, any mascara, any eyeliner, all of that for like $86 or something like that. It's so good of savings. I think it's like 20% of savings. So really, really good deal. And you get to pick any two. Um, or you can buy them individually if you want underneath. Um, but highly recommend this palette. It's so, so good. So the first thing that we're going to do is start with Gingerly, which is going to be our transition shade. And I'm going to grab that on my fluffy crease brush, which this brush is like my absolute favorite brush. If it is still available, definitely make sure you grab one or a few of them. I have like three that I use. So I'm going to take Gingerly and I'm just going to start to buff this into the crease of my eye. Just swirl this outside corner and then take it into the inside corner and then swirl along the crease. Just like that. And then same thing here. Into the crease. Swirl, swirl, swirl. Just like so. Um, they changed the presenter's kit as needed. So it's all subject to change. Oh, the brightening mask is so good, you guys. If you have like stubborn dark spots or sunspots or dark circles, the brightening face mask is so incredible. It helps to brighten your skin. It's actually also a toner. So it helps to tighten your skin as well. It's so good. I use it once a week. Yes, completely cruelty free. What color did you use for the liner you put on? Um, that was the shade Perfect. It's just like the black liner. It's only $15 too. So good. All right, so now that we have Gingerly in there, and this again is kind of like our base transitional shade. It's this gorgeous like chocolate, chocolatey, uh, caramely brown color. It's so pretty. It's honestly my favorite color. And again, it's the shade Gingerly. All right, so now that that's on, now I'm going to switch up my fluffy crease brush. Take this one just because it had darker stuff on it from the other day. And I'm going to take the shade Gullible, which is like a chocolate brown. And these are matte colors, by the way. And now I'm going to take Gullible, and I'm just going to work this in the outside corner just to create some depth to the eye. Um, have you, can you do a skincare routine? Yes, I actually have a few skincare tutorials saved on my YouTube channel as well as my IGTV on Instagram. So... If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do so. My name there is Rhea Hope, and I have a few tutorials saved on that, but I do plan on doing one, yes. Uh, tried the Thermal Magique this morning. Absolutely love it. Yay, Kathy, I'm so glad. Aw, thank you. I learned really late in life as well as how to do my makeup, so if I can learn, you can learn. I didn't go to school or anything, just the University of YouTube. So if I can learn, you can. And this is how I actually learned. I would watch these live tutorials and I grab the same products, the same tools, and I just, I would pause and I would re replay and, and just kind of trial and error. But what I love too, and this is one of my favorite parts about this job, is I get to help you like along the whole way. This isn't like Sephora where you go to the store and I sell you on all these products and then you never hear from me again. This is me helping you until you are completely satisfied and feel and look your best. That's my goal. So if you need any help with the products that you've purchased or you're not sure if you need something else, just message me and I'd be so happy to help you. 
All right, so that was gullible that we worked into the outside corner and worked inward. So before we move on, we're like almost done with this eye. So I really want to make sure it looks like the best. Where do you place your eyeliner? I do like right on the waterline above and below. Can fill us the products? Yes, I will be listing, Wendy, the full product list right here. Um, I have a little looks tab on the website. I just commented it. Um, so you can find all of the looks there, but I will also be uploading my full product list in the comments after I get off. So if you haven't commented yet, make sure you do so. That way Facebook will alert you when I comment the product list. So now I'm going to switch brushes and I'm going to take the liner shader brush. I'm going to take the liner side and we're going to grab gullible again. Now I'm just going to drag this underneath the lower lash line and this is going to give it that more like finished cohesive look. It's also a really good trick too if you have a lot of um, fine lines under your eyes because it helps to disguise those. So we're just going to drag this underneath there just like that. I need stuff for color chenille. You're going to want the shade Twill in the Unique Press Powder. Or you can do the stick foundation in the shade chenille for your contour. Ah, thank you, Tanya. Thank you, thank you, guys. If you guys need a color match or need any help, just write, uh, message me, please, in the comments and I can get back to you. All right, so now I'm going to take the other end of that liner shader brush and I'm going to wipe off whatever was on there from yesterday. And now I'm going to spray this with my setting spray. And I'm going to grab the shade Alive, which is this really pretty, like, goldy color. So I'm going to take that on my brush and now we're just going to work that on the lid and work um, from the inner corner to the middle and then just kind of go along the crease and I'm going to stop where the darker color takes over. And I'm kind of pressing this on rather than sweeping it on. Perfect. Some people do their eyes before face. It all depends. I don't like doing that. Um, personal preference. I don't really have a reason why I don't like doing it. I think maybe because I like to take my foundation up onto my eyelids because I have darker eyelids. Um, so I like the coverage there, but it's totally personal preference. If you want to do your eyes first, you absolutely can. I just think it kind of works backwards and that way like I'm having to clean up and then kind of put the foundation back there and all that. So all personal preference. I think we ship to New Zealand. I think, I think, I think we do. Oh, I love that Leanne. I'm so glad you're kind of getting outside your comfort zone. But I try to keep these eye looks and these makeup looks doable and recreatable from home. Um, and like I said, everything I'm using is available on my website, rayahopebeauty.com. If you need any help picking out products or if you need to be color matched, just shoot me a message. Um, and everything, like I keep saying, has a love it guarantee. So you can shop and try new things without being worried that you're stuck with them. <laughs> so don't be afraid. So that was the eye look. And that's super simple and it's very pretty. It draws the attention to the eyes, but it doesn't overpower it. Um, and you can even enhance it and make this alive color a little bit more pigmented if you're wanting for more of like a nighttime look. But I just kind of did it a little softer because it's Thursday <laughs> and I'm not going anywhere. Um, but you can absolutely kind of enhance this and make it a little bit darker and more sultry. But this is a really good one to kind of be able to tailor both ways, day, daytime and nighttime. Yes, I will post the full product list after I get off. All right, so now that I'm done with my eyeshadow, I always take an empty brush and I'll sweep away any eyeshadow that may have fallen. And then I like to take my blending bud and I will just bounce this very briskly off my under eye and this will help to clean up this outside corner and pick up any eyeshadow as well. So now that we've done that, now I'm gonna set my makeup. which this step, setting your makeup is so crucially important to how good it looks at the end. It not only takes away that like makeup -y look or the powdery look, but it helps to prevent transferring and it really just helps your makeup look flawless all day long, especially if you have dry skin or mature skin. Make sure that you're setting your settings you are setting your makeup with your setting spray. I also actually use this product before and after my primer um, to set my primer and my skin before I put on any makeup at all. So my pre-makeup routine is setting spray, primer, setting spray. 
Okay, so now that we are done with that, now I'm going to do my eye, my mascara. The reason that I always set my makeup before I do my mascara, this is a brand new one, so I wanna make sure it gets all up in there. Um, the reason that I do that is because I prefer that my mascara doesn't get more wet after I set my makeup. So essentially we are prepping my lashes for the mascara, but now my mascara is not gonna be more wet after I'm done with it because it already is a wetter material or a wetter like product. So if you were to set your, uh, your mascara afterwards, you're just making it more wet. So we're thinking smarter, not harder. And this is the lash primer and this is amazing. Helps your lashes to get so stinking long. Oh, it's so good. So lash primer. And now I'm going to use my 4D mascara and I'm going to go from the base of the lash all the way up. Just like this. And then back side of the lashes. And give a, a really good coat. And I love this 4D. It has um, fibers infused in it. So it's not only giving you really good length, but it's also giving you really good volume, which I feel like a lot of the mascaras today give you like one or the other. This is going to give you both. And this mascara is also available in this month's kudos on sale. You get to choose your mascara. How long does a bottle of setting spray last you? About four or five months because I use it every single day and I use it probably like five times in my makeup routine. But if you are using it less or doing your makeup less, I do my makeup almost every day, um, then it will probably last you around six or seven months. But it just kind of depends on, on the person. All right, so base of the lash all the way up. And then as you see, I roll on the back side of the lashes. And now that I've done that first coat, now what I like to do is I like to kind of go through and do a heavier hand. And I kind of like wiggle, wiggle and press this up. This is going to help to kind of lift the lash and gives you even more length and volume. But I am never, this amazes me every single time. Just like that. Wiggle, 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 and press. I'm trying to get these baby ones on the inner corner. All right, is what it is. That's so good. They literally touch my eyebrows. I wish I could order by myself ever. Shoot, maybe if you know someone that can order for you and ship it to you. I've had a few girls from South Africa do that. Kind of go around the bush. Perfect. Okay, so now that we're done with that, now we're going to do this lip combo, which is in stock, and it looks so pretty on everybody. It's a fun kind of summery color, um, so it's not as pastel or not as nude as I normally do, but now I'm going to take the lip liner in the shade Prudent, which is my favorite, smudge proof. It's only $15, and I'm going to line my lips with this, just like so. And I love it because it's easy to overdraw your lips too. And they're so creamy. And then I'm going to feather through the whole lip, which is going to make the lip look instantly smudge proof. If you were to leave it like this. But then if you top it with lipstick like we're going to do, it's going to enhance the lip combo. It's going to change up the color, but it's also going to hold on to the lipstick, which helps it last longer throughout the day. All right, so now that we have our lip liner on, which again, that was a shade Prudent, and isn't that so pretty all by itself? Now we're gonna take the lipstick in the shade Extravagant, and we're gonna pop that right on. It kinda is the same color as my shirt. It's like a fun coral. So now that I have that on, I'm gonna take my finger and massage. So about the expiration date, I see those comments. Um, every piece of product is going to have an expiration date on there. So this says 12 months in this little can right there. So when you open the product and use it, you have 12 months to use it. Um, 
You can go a few months past the expiration date, but it's typically not good for your skin um, to be using expired products, just like you wouldn't eat expired food. Same thing, it's going into your bloodstream, it's going into your skin. Um, so make sure that you're not using anything that's super duper expired, but you can kind of go a few months past that, but definitely make sure that you're looking at your expiration dates. Every product will have one that's listed. So this one says 12 months. Um, let's see, does this lipstick have one? Yes, this lipstick says 12 months. You might need a magnifying glass to see some of these, but they're listed on there. All right, so now that my lipstick is blended, now what I've been liking doing is taking my concealer and I'll take just a teeny tiny bit and I pop that right on and this is going to kind of change up the lip look and make it just a little bit softer. And more pastel. Just like that. Kinda went too high on that side. Isn't that pretty? Ah, I love it. So that again was the lip liner in Prudent, the lipstick in Extravagant, and then I just popped a little bit of concealer in the middle. And there we go. There's today's makeup look. Yay, awesome. Uh, Courtney, I can send you the link to my self tanner. Or the power, I think so, Kristen. Yes, this color is so pretty. I swear by the lip liners, uh, Kels, I, I'm not sure how to say your name, but the lip liners, you can overdraw ev just ever so slightly and it's going to make your lips look poutier, but I love the shade Prudent for doing that. Um, do you ever wear mascara on the bottom? I do sometimes if I'm like doing a mo more sultry look, but not all the time. Thank you. So if you guys need any recommendations or if you need any help, picking out products, just send me a message since I will no longer be live. Um, as soon as I press finish, I won't be able to see your comments. So make sure you send me a message if you guys need any help. Um, send me a selfie facing a window and make sure that you are following me over on Instagram. I'll give you guys an update on the backyard today, all the progress in my story. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and then click the little profile picture. It has a red circle around it and that's how you know that there's stories there to watch. So make sure you catch these stories and then let me know if you guys need any help. Um, and I will see you guys here in just a little bit. I'm going to do a little hair tutorial, but I will see you guys soon. Bye.